it's time to plan for the first month of 2022. This month's planner turned out so beautiful and I can't wait to share with you guys how I created it. On the canva.com website, click on create a design at the top right and then custom design. I usually use a five dimensions for my planner. To add or remove the rulers at the top and at the left, you can go to file at the top left and then select show rulers. To find the graphics or images I want to use for this month, I clicked on elements on the left and searched for yellow rows. Then I clicked on graphics. I found these really nice grey and yellow rose images that I decided to use for the theme of January. I collected all of the possible images I want to use on the first page. For the cover page of January, I kept it quite simple. I copied and dragged this image onto the page and resized it. Then I added a heading by going to text on the left and clicking on add a heading. I'm using the pro version of Canva, so the images and fonts I use in this design is not included in the free version. However, you can still buy them separately if you only have the free version. The next two pages will be for my monthly calendar. For the grid of the calendar, I went to elements and searched for grid under graphics. This grid I chose is 5x5 five five blocks and I need 5x6 five blocks. So I copied the grid and cropped it to add another row of blocks. I copied the whole grid and pasted it on the next page. Then I cropped it to be two blocks wide. You can group multiple elements together by highlighting all of them and then clicking on group at the top. This entire month's planner will be available on my Etsy shop as a downloadable PDF if you guys would like to support me and purchase these designs. I wanted to add a background color to the days of the week, so I went to elements and then clicked on the square under lines and shapes. Click on position to move the element in front or behind other elements or text. To check if the calendar grids are aligned, I click on the little square at the bottom right to get an overview of all the pages. To add some decorations to the page, I copied this element and cropped it to only use the bottom half.
I also added a decoration element at the top left corner. I wanted to add a goal section on the right of the calendar. I clicked on See All next to Lines and Shapes and then selected the square border. To make the lines of the border thinner, shrink the shape and then pull the sides. I thought this decoration element would work really nice around the goal section. I added a title and inserted a line underneath the title, which you can also find under lines and shapes. You can adjust the thickness and type of line at the top. Underneath the goal section, I added a little notes section. This cute border you can also find under lines and shapes. I regularly go back to the overview to see if the decorations are balanced. On the next page, I wanted to create a budget spread to write down my income and expenses for the month.
Next, I will be creating my task list for the month. I like dividing my tasks into smaller steps, which is why I have my to-dos on the left and steps on the right. Finally, we're at the weekly spread. For this spread, I will have a priorities section, a to-do section, and a section for each day of the week.
Now I just copy this page for all the weeks of January and change the dates. I added a blank page after every page for printing purposes. You'll see why I do this in a bit. I forgot to add the dates on the calendar, so I went back and quickly did that. Now we can print everything. I downloaded the designs in PDA format. To print the cover page, select page 1. Then select two pages per sheet and make sure the scale is set to fit to paper. To print the next page on the back of the cover page, I inserted the page back into the feeder exactly as it came out. For the next page, I selected page 2 and 3 so that the design is on the right side of the page when I select two pages per sheet. This is so that it's printed out on the back of the previous page. Now you just repeat this printing process until all the pages are printed out. Then we can start cutting the pages. I used my 2022 cover page as a template to draw where I should cut the pages and make the punch holes. I used this regular hole punch to make the holes. I removed the bottom piece so that I can see where I marked the holes on the pages.
Remember that this planner is available on my Etsy shop as a printable if you guys would like to purchase it. Another way you guys can support me is by subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. Also leave a comment down below of what themes or spreads you would like to see in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!